Welcome back everyone to Cool Clubs Scottsdale headquarters. Today we've got Mark Timms, CEO and founder of Cool Clubs. We have the MCG guys. Now that is Mitsubishi Chemical Group. On our left-hand side, we've got Jonathan Alonji. I hope I got that right. I yep. know there's some different yep, stuff there. Perfect. And, uh, and Preston Toulon on the right-hand side here. Welcome guys. Thanks for coming out. Yeah. Thanks, Jack. Thanks, Mark. Yeah. Um, today, uh, we're going to do an introduction. I want to get to know you guys. I want to get to know the business, talk about how it operates and, and how long it's been around and a, you know, a real good overview. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to do another segment with you on, on your products and, and we'll really get into some nitty gritty. So um, whoever wants to go first, start open up and, and tell us about, about Mitsubishi. Yeah, absolutely. We'd love to. Well, uh, thanks again for having us. Um, again, I'm, I'm Jonathan Alonji. I'm a director of aftermarket sales and marketing for uh, Mitsubishi Chemical Group. Um, many uh, many in the shaft industry or golf industry may know us for uh, for a few different names. I know yeah. we've had a- Mitsubishi would yeah. be our role. Yeah, yeah. It's, you know, it was Mitsubishi MRC Ron. MRC was another one. Right? Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. So um, yeah, so I, I handle all of the uh, international retail distribution for our aftermarket parts. Uh, cool Clubs obviously has been one of our um, I think you guys were one of the original customers we had way we back. We might have been. I remember way back when when I had hot sticks, which we now own again, yeah. uh, which is kind of funny. But, uh, yeah, it was, uh, you know, some other couple of shafts were popular, and it was the uh, standard Diamana, the yeah. white board and the blue board. And uh, we all in the industry refer to a standard profile as almost a blue board profile. So. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah. yeah, so, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's good to be here, and, and thanks again for having us. So, um, you know, for, for the history of our company, and just to give you a little bit of background, uh, you know, we've been around for, for quite a long time. Mitsubishi, uh, you know, out of Japan, started making golf shafts. Uh, I believe it was in the mid-70s. Um, we opened up our, our premium Toyohashi facility, production facility, that we still currently make shafts out of uh, in the late 80s. Um, and then the Mitsubishi, as people know it now in the golf industry, um, really... Uh, took off in 2004 when they entered the U.S. market. Uh, so as Mark was just saying, right. uh, there was a group of, of four that kind of started, uh, you know, what's now known as Mitsubishi Chemical America office in Carlsbad. Um, one of those uh, one of those employees is still with us, uh, Mark Gunther, who's the uh, vice president of sales and marketing. Is yeah, it's scary how long I've known that guy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. We opened cool, uh, the original hot sticks in 2000, so it yep. was just shortly after that we started bringing you guys in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so Mark is uh, kind of one of the original four uh, that, that came into the market. Uh, and yeah, ever since then, uh, you know, the first shaft we launched kind of kind of took the market uh, over. Uh, in 2004, 2005 with the Diamana. Uh, that was the first shaft that we brought in the U.S. market. Um, you know, it ever since then, it's it's taken off and, and kind of made Mitsubishi uh, a, a powerhouse and kind of what we are as a shaft company now. Um, all started back when uh, when that one shaft it was. was a, it was a pretty quick start too, right? Yeah. So, because I remember, you know, you just started carrying the shafts. We had a couple guys on tour, and, and all of a sudden, we got these, you know, you know, email stuff, and uh, well, not even emails back then, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, stuff. You know, number one shaft and wins, and you know, on tour for majors, and you know, you came on the scene pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah. So you know, Diamond is kind of what what got it all started. Um, you know, then we've, ever since then, we've launched other really successful brands like Kirikage, uh, Fubuki, um, Tenze is another really, really popular brand as, as many have seen on tour. Um, so yeah, you know, uh, Diamana got it started. Um, you know, we have a lot of successful brands now and, and one thing we're known for is the success on all professional tours. Um, you know, when, when you turn on a, a golf tournament, no matter where you are in the world, uh, you're always bound to see a Mitsubishi chemical shaft. Um, if if a lot of people follow us on social media or follow our marketing story, you know we pride ourselves on how many global professional wins we've had on all global tours. What is that count number today? Uh, that that count number right now for Mitsubishi chemical parts uh, since 2004 when we entered the U.S. market uh, is I believe up to 578. Um, which is, uh, I believe, uh, Preston can correct me if I'm wrong, but it's a couple hundred more than the closest competitor. Yeah, yeah. So it's 578 on the Mitsubishi side, and obviously we own all, we own Aldola as well, and Aldola is at like 363. So between the two of wow. them, it's 941 wins. I know that because we just uh, you have a celebration when you get to a thousand. It's gonna happen. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. That should be later this year. Sometime you're, you're gonna be invited. I don't know about Jack. But, <laughs> uh, we'll see how this goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but no, it's it's about 200 ahead of the nearest competitors. So we're we're very proud of that. And 
you know, it means it's been successful for a long, 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 long period of time. So breaking that down, I mean, that's 19 years, give or take. Um, yeah. And then we chatted earlier, so I know this number, but last season or, you know, this season that's just passed, how many wins did you have? 53. 53 across yeah. uh, across the big four tours. So PGA Tour, DP World Tour, LPGA Tour, uh, and then Corn Ferry Tour. So that's so, almost 10% in 19 years. So, you know, out of your 19 year spread, that's a last year's a good year for you guys. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, we always, uh, we're always looking forward. So we always, we always believe there's more out there. But um, yeah, we're really grateful for the success we've had. Um, you know, for us as a shaft manufacturer, it's always difficult to get shafts in play, right? Um, you know, although we do spend a lot of marketing, we're never really, um, you know, focused on sponsoring any players or, um, you know, pay any players to play our product, right? So it's really reliant on the performance um, in our team doing the work and, and making sure we're putting product out there that works, um, which is very similar to what we do here at Cool Clubs. It's, it's, it's really reliant on the performance and the fitters being confident in the product. Uh, and we believe a lot of the a lot of the success that we've seen on on all these professional tours um, is a real testament to to the material, um, to the way the product's constructed and the performance of it. Um, and we, as a company, Mitsubishi Chemical as a whole, you know, first and foremost, we always let people know we are a materials company. Um, That's a big advantage, you guys. Yes. And, and you know, obviously, we test everything with our S3 machine, and you know, use that as a database to help you know select clubs for. You know, our fittings and stuff like that and we, and we license that to a lot of other guys and even on tour people use it as a reference right because yeah. apples to apples everyone uses it different but uh you know you you being a material company you got a big advantage right you, you control the materials and yes. uh, all the new materials come out from mitsubishi yeah. uh you guys have first and, and you utilize that so yeah well, i think that's the story and the quality stuff is obviously fantastic you know japanese company very focused on quality and stuff so yeah yeah what we talk about it often is uh we're a, we're a materials company and golf shafts just happen to be one of the things we make right. out of them. Like we flew out here on a plane and I think our biggest customer internationally is right. Boeing and we make the materials that go in airplane wings. My first week here, we actually recorded our 500th went on tour and I wrote a press release for, you know, commemorating that. And I thought it was really cool because I saw it posted on Mitsubishi Chemicals, like primary uh, corporate website. And then I scrolled down to the previous uh, press release they had posted and it was uh, an announcement that they were making a material used in the Lunar Rover. So it like immediately kind of like knocked me back down to size. It's like, yeah, you, yeah, we're making golf shots. Big deal. But, but, that's, but, but that's an advantage of your group. Right? Yes, it's yes. unbelievable. So, so you're a small little cog on this big company that makes material. It's, so. it's, it's unbelievable. I mean, like, I don't think anyone would have guessed, you know, 20, 30 years ago that, you know, a steel driver shaft would eventually be obsolete. And, you right. know, carbon fiber graphite has largely, you know, eliminated that, you know, off the face of the earth. There's, it's, it's very, very possible that at some point graphite carbon fiber might not be the material best suited to make golf shafts well, you and we're going to be on the front lines you know we're going to be the ones developing the material that might work better and, it's, and you're already seeing it now i know you know when a new golf shaft comes out there's often hype about you know what's the material what's in it and i mean mm -hmm. mmt for you is is a multi-material uh product right yeah, yeah um and i know you've experimented with different tip sections and things like that and yeah. it's not just carbon anymore it really is all these different materials coming together and then when you guys are oaring this material and and making it well obviously you're going to be the experts in how it's used you, you would like to think yeah yeah absolutely you know we were, we were talking before this uh, you know we we like to look at our product mix as you know a menu right we we not only make the products that go on that menu but we make all the ingredients right we have all the ingredients so you're that, farmers essentially exactly yeah 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 <laughs> exactly exactly and it, you know if you go on our website too we always talk about you know, we as a company believe we have a material difference and we use that to our advantage, right? So a, a lot of the materials that you do see in our golf shafts are not only put in golf shafts, right? We utilize this material, MR70, you know, being one of them that have been really successful in our Diamante line in the past, um, that material just doesn't go into golf shafts. It goes into other industries. And oftentimes they're using our golf division as a testing ground, right? To see how strong, to see how lightweight we can go. Uh, but maintain that consistency and durability in the material. So that's one really exciting part uh, about, you know, being a part of Mitsubishi Chemical is I that. I didn't actually realize that one of the reasons you guys are kind of one of the best at the lightweight materials is you use it to see whether they break or not. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yes. yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, you know, it's really exciting to hear, you know, some of the en engineers talk about why they're testing certain materials, you know, what, what kind of market they're looking for. Um, in, in watching that evolution take place at, through a golf shaft is pretty exciting for us as golfers, but it's also, it, you know, it helps us tell a story 
um, you know, that, that some other, uh, some other, um, you know, companies in the industry, uh, you know, are unable to tell. So that, that's what's kind of exciting. And just hearing that, you know, um, I don't think there's anyone out there who's seriously invested in, in golf and is a bit of a junkie on, on the golf stuff that doesn't know the, the Mitsubishi product. Yeah. And, and off the back of that, they know it's premium. So I, and I think that word kind of resonates with you guys, right? Yeah. It's a premium. It's a premium product. Yeah. You know what? It, it, that's what we pride ourselves on, right? You know, if you look at our, not only the materials that go into the golf shafts, but the cosmetics, uh, the way we, we make the, the product look, you know, everybody, you walk down the line, everybody thinks, oh, wow, that Diamana looks great. Or wow, that Tenze 1K really pops off, right? It's, we, we want the, the image of our product, product to reflect the material and the time and effort that goes into making it. And, and that's what we kind of pride ourselves on is, is making sure we're, we're not only making a premium product inside, but outside as well. Um, you know, because when we talk about creating products, one of the things that we always talk about, uh, you know, as a brand is how is it going to look on a fitting wall, right? How yeah. is it going to look on, on the wall at cool clubs, right? Is it going to, you know, is it going to grab somebody's attention, right? Because we know we have the performance, the materials. We, we know we have everything inside the shaft that maybe is sometimes hard to see. Um, and we try to match that with a really, really clean and premium cosmetic that, that kind of matches the, uh, um, you know, the ingredients that are going into the shaft. So. And that certainly makes our job easier. I mean, I know Mark focuses on this and, and this is one of the reasons why we've been around for so long as a company, but the consistency of the product, the quality of the product means that the demo shaft on the wall um, is directly relative to what our builders mm -hmm. um, produce and what the client receives at the end of the day. So what they tested in the fit in and they loved and they experienced, they're going to get that on the back end when the cult club gets delivered. Yeah. Um, and it makes it easy when they look good because people want that product in their hand too. Yeah. Um, so that's a really, no, really nice cycle. And I think that it only shouts even louder when tour guys are, are using it. And I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, you don't pay these tour guys to use We do the not, no. No, yeah, it's, it's solely relying on the performance of the product. So, um, you know, we have reps on every professional tour out there. Um, they're grinding away. It's, it's a really difficult field to be in, right? Mm -hmm. Because you're competing with a lot of great product out there. Uh, you're, you're, trying to get product in the hands of the best athletes in the world. And they don't uh, like change, by the way. So they do not like change. <laughs> no, gig. yeah, they do not like change. Uh, um, you know, and some of, some of them who do like change um, are very finicky, right? <laughs> right. So yeah. it's like, you know, you go from one one end of the spectrum to the other. So it definitely is. We've got guys like, you know, um, like John Rahm never changed. Yeah, he's yeah. very consistent. But you got other guys that switch all the time. I'm sure sometimes that's not a detriment to, you know, their plan. Yeah, they play around this too much, but they get really finicky and yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. And, and that's one D2 of the benefits. Went D two and a half. I mean, oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's one of the benefits too. Is sometimes those guys who are finicky um, help us, you know, kind of understand what the product's doing. Right. Yeah. It's it's the, those guys who are paying attention to the small, minute details of the golf shafts. Good feedback uh, for you guys. It's really good feedback. Yeah. So you know, although it can get kind of kind of tedious, and and you know, we do burn through a lot of shafts through our tour budget, and and we're happy to do so. It's it's those guys that you know, like I said, are are a little bit more finicky that that sometimes provide the best sort of feedback on on stuff that we may not see on the engineering side. Uh, that they're seeing on the performance side. Um, and again, that all translates back to what we're bringing out, you know, and, and what we're bringing to cool clubs um, from a custom fitting perspective too. Yeah, well, it's a great story. Um, you know, I love the fact that you guys are in everything. It's kind of like a, it's like a slogan you should have. Yeah. Movie. We're in everything. Like, yeah. you really are. So. Yeah. Well, actually, so. they're in our shafts too. So. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Heads up on that one. Yeah, we don't yeah. want to touch on that yet. We're going to do that in the right, next right. episode. We want to dive into that. Okay. But um yeah, it's awesome. I think that's a really good overview. Unless you guys have got anything else you want to touch on there, I think we wrap it up and we get stuck into the, the products. Yeah, awesome. yeah, I think uh, that that's a, that's a pretty brief overview. Obviously, you know, we're a very large company. We could sit here all day and talk about the the ins and outs of, of Mitsubishi Chemical America, but um, yeah, that's... Uh, the product's way more interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, let's, well let's leave it there and uh, we'll get into the more interesting stuff. Thanks for the chance. Yeah. To go. Yeah. yeah, awesome. Thanks a lot. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Cheers, guys. Yeah.